In my introduction to preaching classes at Perkins School of Theology, the first week of class I give everyone an index card and I ask them to give me their, their contact information and I ask them their goals for the class and then I ask them to put their greatest fear. Now I always assumed they would understand that I meant their greatest fear about the class. So I would expect things like interpreting scripture well or uh, finding illustrations that relate to people and I can help them with that kind of thing. But, but one time I got home that evening and, and uh, put the kids to bed and then I was looking through these index cards and next to greatest fear, one student had written aging. And, and another card the student had written death. And I'm thinking, man, this is way above my pay grade to help you with. Uh, and then uh, on, on one card, a, a student in, in, I guess, a spurt of honesty next to greatest fear had written life in general, mostly dogs. <laughs> there are lots of fears out there. We all have at least one, and you can have more than one, but there's only one fear that scriptures tell us it is our life work to cultivate. There's only one fear that scripture tells us is the beginning of wisdom. And it is not the fear of someone else's interpretation of scripture on a controversial subject. It's not the fear of someone of another race or religion or sexual orientation. It is the fear of the Lord which is the Bible's code word for faith. The fear of the Lord is not like many of us assume, fear of imminent punishment, but it is a radical respect for the godness of God. It is what I call the lead sled dog virtue of all the other three. Without it, there would be no, no um, listening heart, no self-control no moral courage. It would be like if you unharnessed the virtues from the lead sled dog and they all just ran off into the tundra and froze to death. And friends, we do not want that. And so we are grateful that Pastor Todd is going to lead us in an exploration and experience of the lead sled dog virtue, the fear of the Lord this morning. 